some interesting games from last light, night. A little bit of brotherly love yes. in Chicago. <laughs> as the Mellows Hornets visited Lonzo's Bulls. They were playing each other for the first time all season. And, you know, if they're playing, that also means LeVar Ball has to oh, be in attendance. Who doesn't Richard. love a set of balls going against each other? <laughs> Richard, onto the court. Onto the court. Here we go. And look, this game was so this game was back and forth watching them just go. There was multiple lead changes in this Charlotte Chicago game. But you know what happened? Ultimately, the Chicago Bulls revved it up the final three, four minutes of that first half. It was all Chicago Bulls as you see this finish right here. Well, and you know who was instrumental in revving it up for the Hornets? It was yep. that man right there. It was that man. And look, I love what I love about him is that his team got down like 20 plus points, but they kept battling back. You see this look down 20 and DeMar DeRozan was continuing his show doing what he does, showing that he is the best player on that Chicago Bulls team. DeMar DeRozan had 28 points on the night. Let's fast forward to the fourth quarter where it really went down. Well, and look at this. This 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 is a six point game now. They cut Ooh. it to four with seven to go. That shows you that this Charlotte team is real. You're down 20 on the road against the Bulls and you keep fighting, but it was too much of the big fella. Vucevic is back. This man went seven for seven from three. We're not even talking about all the layups. But then that was it. Too much defense. And I'm just going to say this, Lonzo. If this is what you're going to do and lay it up, give it to Zach. I messed just you up. I Zach. messed you up. I think it was six for six. 16 oh. points for Lonzo, 18 points for LaMelo. Here's Damn what it. they said after the game. <laughs> Obviously, you know, we, we are brothers and it's all love off the court. But on the court, like I said, he, he got a job he got to do. I got a job I got to do with both, you know, big parts of our team. So, you know, he came in and played as hard as he could. I played as hard as I could. And I'm still a big brother at the end of the day. And I got to stack my wins. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I always go out and, I mean, we've been talking about the NBA since we were little boys. So, you know, just going out there, playing against them, having moms and pops in the crowd watching, just all around a blessing. All right, we got to bring in J.J. Redick with the beautiful New York skyline in the background there. All right, so both Ball brothers are now in good situations. And, J.J., I want to start with you here, though. Who would you rather have as you're looking towards their outlook and building a franchise of those two brothers? Well, LaMelo, for sure. Hmm. Um, and, and I would say this. The Bulls are built for short-term success right now. You certainly have to look at Zach Levine's upcoming free agency and how that plays out. But the Hornets have two foundational pieces in LaMelo Ball and Miles Bridges, who's made a big jump this year. LaMelo, to me, is a transcendent talent. He's every bit as good as advertised. He can do so much on the basketball floor. He's definitely more of a scorer than Lonzo. They're both very disruptive defensively. But there's an aggression to LaMelo's game. Uh, and, and to me, he is the, the, the bigger star of the two brothers. All right, Richard, you agree? No, I, I completely agree. I, I disagree a little bit when he when, when, when JJ says that they're built for short-term success mm. because I do believe that the Bulls have a young core. Mm -hmm. Lonzo is young. I know DeMar is older, but Zach Levine is young. Vucevic isn't 30. So when you look at this team and you're just saying like, okay, like short term, long term, I think everything in the success kind of range is about five to seven years. Right. And I think that the Chicago Bulls are built for long term success because as DeMar kind of fades, you would imagine that Zach Levine or some of these young players can continue to grow. But yes, I agree with him when I say that LaMelo Ball, he is all box office. He is one of those guys that will be the face of the league for the next 10 years. Perk? I'm right there with him. All right, uh, three for here, three. Here's the thing, because when you look at LaMelo Ball, we know that he's box office. We know that on the road he's going to sell out arenas because people want to see him play but how I look at it is that when I look at guys like John Morant when I look at a guy like Giannis when I look at a guy like Trey Young when I look at a guy like LaMelo Ball like when you look at those guys Luka Doncic those guys are guys that you could start a franchise with. Lonzo, you can't start a franchise with, but I will say he has done an excellent job in his role, and when you put the right pieces around him, he's able to flourish and be that floor general that, he's, that he has been for the Chicago Bulls. And, and let's be really honest, if, if the All-Star game was today, LaMelo would be in the All-Star game. Mm. As a second-year yeah. player, LaMelo yeah. is in the All-Star game, and that right. right there as a 20-year-old All-Star, 
That's pretty impressive. That's My bad, I something. forgot to mention. Anthony Edwards is also in that conversation. Okay, Anthony Edwards is in that conversation. Okay. I, I think, to me, what I'm hearing, what, what you guys are saying, is the, bull, the Bulls are built as a team, and Lonzo complements that. But the Mellow, that's the, the sun, and everyone yes. else is just sort of revolving around him. You can yeah. drop him in anywhere, as opposed to Lonzo. Maybe it's more about the complementary players that he's sort of setting up with, which they're built to succeed right now. Yep. But it's about a matter of who is around him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.